That was so wonky. Can you hear me? You don't know. There's the levels going up and down. They're going up and down. I can see them. I got my microphone on. Good. I'm a good girl. Yeah? yeah. All ready? Yeah. Okay guys, this is it. This is the first sewing quiz. Um, I've never done this before, so this is gonna go one of two ways, but I'm hoping it'll be fun. Um, so how it's gonna run, there's 20 questions. I will run through all 20, giving uh, breaks in between so you can answer at your leisure. Um, and then I'll do a quick run through afterwards in case you missed any, I'm just gonna repeat them all. Um, I'm hoping I've not made it too difficult. Um, I'm hoping I've not made it too easy either. Um, there's sewing questions, there's costume questions, there's all sorts. Um, if I've made it too hard or too easy, or if you'd like to see questions in the future, do put something in the comments to say that. Um, and I'm more than happy to take question suggestions because it turns out it's weirdly hard coming up with loads of questions. Um, so I have my drink, it's a fancy copper bow, um, because I'm quite a lightweight these days. Um, I've got my husband doing all the technical stuff because there's no way I would have been able to do this without him. Say hello, Martin. Hello. We also have Bird, our pussy cat, on the back of the chair, so it's a family affair. Um, I do hope you're ready. So without further ado, question one. Uh, in which century were Fiskars founded? The Fiskars scissor company this is. I came up with this question because when I was looking for inspiration I looked across my studio and I still have a pair that my nan bought me when I was 18. I think for my 18th birthday she bought me those scissors and uh, with the Fiskars sharpener they are good to go. So that's question one. In which century were Fiskars founded? Uh, question two. When was the first patent for the sewing machine? I got this really wrong, so good luck. Question three, in what year did Isaac Merrick Singer, good old Singer, manufacture the first straight stitch sewing machine? I need to slow down, don't I? Give you time to write your answers. <laughs> Such technical things going on behind the scenes here. Uh, question four, what did Singer call his first sewing machine? I'm going to give you a hint, it's really dull. And I think if I'd been his wife, I'd have been pretty annoyed it wasn't called like the Bertha or something. Was it the Brian Singer? <laughs> it was not the Brian Singer. <laughs> um, yeah, actually I've put a bonus point on question four. Um, if you can come up with a better name, suggestions in the comments because uh, it's pretty bad the uh, what he did call his first sewing machine so question five when did singer manufacture the first electric sewing machine i mean i i advertise this as badly researched but i've i've, I've gone a deep dive haven't i not that not that deep i went to their website was it like bob dylan and everyone was like no we don't like the electric ones play the acoustic god my husband will make many jokes that are odd so bear with us. So question five was, when did Singer manufacture the first electric sewing machine? I don't actually own a Singer sewing machine. I learned on one, but I've been faff ever since, baby. Oh. Was it called Scranton? It's not called Scranton. <laughs> It was the electric city. Um, question six, what was the first faff sewing machine designed to sew? I didn't know this, so this is news so to me. Apparently so hard. Just the puns, Martin, to sew it so many was, puns. Uh, Andy Lavelle. Oh, was it? Hey, have we got comments? Yes. Yay! Oh, hello, people. Tell me to slow down if you need me to slow down. So was that, what was the first faff sewing machine designed to sew? Now I'm a faff baby, I love faff. I've been using faff since I was 14, I think. Um, if you're faff, send us money. <laughs> yeah, if you're faff, faff, sponsor me, I need, I need the help. So question seven, where did calico, the fabric calico originate? Uh, it's pretty, pretty easy actually. But bonus point if you get the uh, city as well as, as well as the country. Gonna make a note that I put a bonus point for that. You done your, your question card, Martin? 
No. Oh, that was question seven. Yeah. yeah. And then question eight, from what were the first needles made? So needles that you would hand sew with, what were they first made of? The soles of the first one. The soles of the first one, who said that? Me. <laughs> you. <laughs> no, we don't often sew with soles. Only if we're down to the wire and the, the, sh the production starting that night, that's when we sew with soles. So question nine, what fabric smells like burning paper when performing a burn test? I always get really confused on the different burn tests, so maybe this will drill it into my brain finally. So what fabric smells like burning paper when performing a burn test? Question nine. And question 10. What leaves black brittle remnants that crush between your fingers after a burn test? Like easily crushable bread, that's what it says here. God knows what websites I've gone to for that. So that was question 10. What leaves black brittle remnants that crush between your fingers after a burn test? And if you don't know burn tests, they're really cool, so get involved. Question 11, in what way could your stunning green Victorian dress have caused you to die? Slight urban mythdom here. But it's cool, so I added it. That question would have been what would cause you to survive? That's too many things. I need yes and no answers here, Martin. So question 11, in what way could your stunning green Victorian dress have caused you to die? Now, question 12, how did the Fenicans make purple dye? I like purple dye, it's got a weird, cool history. We wanted that, we wanted purple clothes bad, I think, back in the day. And I've given a hundred bonus points here if you can name the species, what if the species is now called. So you get a hundred bonus points and probably win life right now if you can name the species. <laughs> I didn't know any of this. This is really cool. Um, so that was, how did the Phoenicans make purple dye? And for 100 bonus points, can you name the species? So question 13, when William Henry Perkin discovered purple dye, what was he trying to synthesize? This is the famous guy in Victorian times. Uh, when he discovered purple dye, what was he trying to synthesize? He got awesome purple, but what was he trying to get? India. India? Probably the new world or something like, or the edge of the world or something. So question 14, in what year did he patent his brilliant new purple dye? I might have got this actually. I'm pretty bad of years, but I might have got this. So when did he patent his new, new purple dye? That everyone went mental for. Okay, so now we're going to take a, a little, a little sidestep into uh, into costume world because it's that's where I live. Um, and the first of the sort of costumey questions is in the Matrix, Keanu Reeves or Keanu Reeves or Canoe Reeves. Do you remember who was the um, the uh, comedian? And they used to do Canoe Reeves. It was Kathy Burke and the guy. <laughs> Harry Enfield? Harry Enfield and Kathy Burke. Oh God, and they had a kid and they called it Canoe. <laughs> Still makes me laugh. Anyway, in The Matrix, Keanu Reeves wears a black leather coat. Is that true or is it false? Oh, this is, this is a uh, costume, little niche territory here. I love this question. So question 15, in The Matrix, Keanu Reeves wears a black leather coat. True or false? So question 16, what colour were Dorothy's shoes originally supposed to be? So Wizard of Oz, think back in the day. What colour were Dorothy's shoes originally supposed to be? Was it blue, silver, red or emerald? So A, blue, B, silver, C, red, D, emerald. I like saying emerald. It's a good colour, emerald. Why do you have a sign behind you? It's my pub sign. So I keep expecting this to be like the mirror and it's not, it's real, there we go, I can point. <laughs> pub sign, thread and needle. 
no, what was it? It's thread and thimble, not thread and needle. So question 17, this is a little uh, add-on from that other question. What pop star owns a pair of Dorothy's slippers? So an original pair of slippers from the movie. Is it A, Madonna, B, Elton John, C, Lady Gaga, or D, Paul McCartney? So what pop star owns a pair of Dorothy slippers? A, Madonna, B, Elton John, C, Lady Gaga, D, Paul McCartney. I'd have got that one. You didn't get it, did you? <laughs> what? Are you laughing at? Say hello to Reagan. Hello, Reagan! <laughs> uh, people I know watching, it's terrifying. Okay, so question 18. Who won an Oscar for costume design on Memoirs of a Geisha? I feel like that came out when I was at university and we got, we got hard into it. It's pretty, it's a pretty film. But who won an Oscar for costume design on Memoirs of Geisha? Well, that's question 19, isn't it? <laughs> oh gosh, that's really clever. Okay, so I'm looking at what he's doing, I'm looking at what I'm doing, it's a, it's a mess. So question 19, how many costume changes does Elizabeth Taylor have in Cleopatra? I've never actually seen Cleopatra, have you seen Cleopatra? No. It just looks really long and her hair I, I find her hair distracting but in Cleopatra how many costume changes does Elizabeth Taylor get do you reckon she kept all of them it was back in the day but I bet she kept most of them what's the name from Beverly Hills 921 kept all her costumes from Mallrats kept or stole it was in her contract and then she was like oh I'd be changing my clothes every scene I just think, you know, I just go shopping, don't they, when it's modern day? <laughs> That's what I think. So that was question 19. How many costume changes does Elizabeth Taylor get in Cleopatra? And question 20. Oh, there's 21 questions in this. I added one. Uh, what body parts decorate Queen Elizabeth's dress in the famous rainbow portrait? Now, I don't know if everyone else got this shoved down their throat as I did at university, but I did. Um, so Martin just shook his head, but I did costume. So, um, so the famous, um, that is the, that is the right queen, isn't it? Yeah. The, uh, Elizabeth I. Yes, Elizabeth I. That's right. That's it. I'm There's bad. There's been two. There's been two. One's a bit oh, more well-known. A bit more well-known. Ooh, controversial. Uh, so what body parts decorate Queen Elizabeth's dress in the famous rainbow portrait? And then question 21 is, what does the rainbow Elizabeth is holding symbolise? I added that in because I didn't actually, couldn't actually remember that from uni. So I thought it was a really cool little fact. It's the NHS, isn't it? Shh, stop giving stuff away. <laughs> So I'm going to run through those super duper quick in case you missed any at the beginning um, and then I'll give some answers out. So in which century were Fiskars founded for question one? Question two, when was the first patent for the sewing machine? Question three, in what year did Isaac Merritt Singer manufacture the first straight stitch sewing machine? Question four, what did Singer call his first sewing machine? And a bonus point if you can come up with a better name because it is dull. Question five, when did Singer manufacture the first electric sewing machine? Try not to give any hints on that one. Um, question six, what was the first FAF sewing machine designed to sew? Question seven, where did Calico originate? And bonus point if you get both the city and the country. Question eight, from what were the first needles made? Question nine, what fabric smells like burning paper when performing a burn test? Question 10, what leaves black, brittle remnants that crush between your fingers after a burn test? Question 11, in what way could your stunning Victorian, green Victorian dress have caused you to die? Question 12, how did the Phoenicans make purple dye? And a bo 100 bonus points, if you can name what the species is now called. Uh, when William Henry Perkin, dis oh, sorry, question 13, when did, when Hilliam, 
Question 13. When William Henry Perkin discovered purple dye, what was he trying to synthesise? Question 14. And in what year did he patent his brilliant new purple dye? Question 15. In The Matrix, Keanu Reeves wears a black leather coat, true or false? Question 16. What colour were Dorothy's shoes originally supposed to be? A. Blue. B. Silver. C. Red. D. Emerald. Question 17. What pop star owns a pair of original Dorothy slippers? Uh, A. Madonna. B. Elton John. C. Lady Gaga. D. Paul McCartney. Question 18. Who won an Oscar for costume design on Memoirs of a Geisha? Question 19. How many costume changes does Elizabeth Taylor have in Cleopatra? Question 20. What body parts decorate Queen Elizabeth's dress in the famous rainbow portraits? And question 21. What does the rainbow Elizabeth is holding symbolise? Whew. Well, as I'll, I'll give you a time to kind of, you know, look, at, look over your answers, second guess yourself. That's what I always do with these quizzes. Uh, you know, change your answer so you definitely get it wrong. That's what, I'm, that's what I always do. Um, and yeah, I just want to say again that if, if these were too easy, too difficult, if you want, um, you know, like uh, some inquiries based around movies or theatre or film or costume, things like that, let me know because I can do that. If you want a deep dive into the history of sewing, let me know because I can do that as well. Um, it's actually really interesting because, you know, you, you know sewing and you do it every day. Well, I do because I'm a costume maker and I've done it every day since I was about, gosh, six. Um, but you don't, I don't know, I don't, you don't really get taught the history of sewing machines or anything. So actually looking at these, it was really, really cool. Um, and is there anything else I should say? Um, That's it, isn't it? Questions? Hello, Auntie Sue. Hello, Auntie Sue. Is Auntie Sue watching? Hey, Auntie Sue. Thank you for your donation. Um, so yeah, um, yeah. If you want, if you want any certain questions, or if you if you if you think of a really cool question, like let me know because I would love to love to find out some new weird history. Also, I want to say if I've got any people watching from America, I'm really sorry because um, my pronunciations uh, will all be English. Um, so let me know if you've got any weird, cool, interesting uh, facts about sewing in America because I'm sure that all of us this side of the pond would would be fascinated by that. I know I would be, but then I'm a complete and utter nerd when it comes to sewing. So there we go. Anyway, uh, at the end of this, you'll see some links because um, you can go to my business page. You can buy patterns from me now. Um, and I'd just like to say that I know that everywhere across the world, I think now uh, a lot of costume makers and sewers and home home sewers are making scrubs, headbands, all sorts. I know I've spent days now making scrubs instead of the beautiful costumes I was supposed to be making for film. Um, and I'd just like to say thank you to everyone who's doing that and joining me. It's um, uniquely boring, uh, thrilling and wonderful because you're amazed and so happy that you can help. But at the same time, it's quite a sad reason to be helping. Um, so yeah, big up everyone who's making scrubs out there. Uh, so shall I start with the... Not yet. Oh, it's not yet? Why? Uh, yeah. Yay, we're back. Hey, sorry, it is the first run. So apologies if we go dead like that again. Uh, we don't quite know what happened. Um, I think I was in the middle of saying yay up everyone for like sewing scrubs so well done. Anyway so before we go dead again I think I'll do the answers. So question one in which century were Fiskars founded? Now I was surprised by this I thought it was sort of 1800s. It was 1649 so the 17th century um, which was ages ago and then I learned a lot about how they used to make scissors and that was just way too boring. So question two, when was the first patent for the sewing machine? And that was in 1755, which again is way earlier than I thought. It was a German guy who issued a British patent for a needle that is designed for a machine. I'm pretty sure he did it before he could do the actual manufacturing of it. So it's one of those ones. Uh, in question three, in what year did Isaac Merritt Singer manufacture the first straight stitch sewing machine? And that was 1850. And what did Singer call his first sewing machine? Now, I did warn you that this is dull. He called it the standard one. <sighs> Just, you know, if you were his wife, wouldn't you be like, why? So dull. The standard one? Or like, was there room for a standard two and so on and so forth? Yeah, I did tell you this was poorly researched. Oh. I did warn people 
it's very poorly well isn't it? Are you? <laughs> I'm just so basically researched I did not check if there was a standard two I know the first one was called standard one um, which is dull so question five when did Singer manufacture the first electric sewing machine now I was quite hoping to like pull you up on this a little bit because I I sure sure I really thought that it would be sort of uh, 1920 or something like that but it was 1889 uh, what was a score? question six what was the first faff sewing machine designed to sew and it was designed to sew leather in the manufacture of shoes so they didn't even start off with normal sewing machines they were like hardcore back in the day but actually that doesn't surprise me because they're hardcore now so uh question seven where did calico originate and it was in calicut india i like saying calicut calico calicut india Question eight from which were oh, sorry from what were the first needles made and I don't know I'm afraid it's probably quite an easy one but it was bone and ivory so in sort of our ancient archaeological digs they've uh, they found bone and ivory needles. Um, question nine what fabric smells like burning paper when performing a burn test? I feel like I need to do a bit of a do this outside guys. Um, cotton smells like burning paper. Question 10, what leaves black brittle remnants that crush between your fingers after a burn test? That's wool, which I don't remember any of these. I'm useless at this. I know one of them melts and that's it. Is it silk that melts? It does a weird curly thing. Anyway, don't know why I'm asking you. Why would you know that? Does it make the spider scream? It doesn't make the spider scream. Uh, question 11, in what way could your stunning green Victorian dress have caused you to die? And that is, of course, because they used to put arsenic in the green dye to make it beautifully green. Um, so you could have gently poisoned yourself, much like, uh, well, people used to put lead on their faces and all sorts. We've, we've not had a good time of it, have we, trying to look pretty? Anyway, question 12. How did the Phoenicans make purple dye? And that was with sea snails. Now, if you can tell me that the species is now called Bolinus branderis, sure i've pronounced that wrong you will get a hundred bonus points and win monday didn't know that didn't know it was sea snails that's pretty cool though anyway question 13 when william henry perkin discovered purple dye what was he trying to synthesize so he was trying to uh synthesize quinine quinine or quinine heard it both ways quinine I'm gonna say quinine which is used for malaria so he was trying to get that and he got purple hurrah uh, and question 14, and in what year did he patent, patent his brilliant new purple dye? That was in 1856. And if you've ever been close to a costume history lesson, you will know that. That will be burnt into your soul. Um, question 15. Like question 15. In The Matrix, Keanu Reeves wears a black leather coat. This is, this is a particularly nerdy question. I love it. So is that true or false? And it's actually false. It was apparently made from a wool blend thrifted for three bucks a yard. Is that because everything in the Matrix was synthesized by computers? I don't know, but I just think it's really cool. Like that is an iconic costume and they got it for like $3 a yard, made an awesome coat, lived their true life, man. What's a yard? Oh, a metre. Sorry, oh, I went American there, didn't I? So it was three, $3 a yard in America or three... No, that won't be three pounds a metre, will it? Back then, it was like, you know, 27 pence. Now, 90 pounds. Anyway, so that was why it was false because they made it from a wool blend. I don't know why. Cheap, probably. So, 16, question 16. What colour were Dorothy's shoes originally supposed to be? Supposed to be? Blue? I've not written the answer for this. Thank God I know it. It's silver, right? Yeah. Oh, good. <laughs> That was in the novel. <laughs> uh, anyway, I was hoping to trip a few people up with this. So I put blue, silver, red, or emerald. We thought you'd all go emerald because of the city, but actually um, they were supposed to be silver and they ended up red. Um, they were silver in the book, but I'm pretty sure they got changed to red because Ruby. of Ruby. Well, also because everything, Technicolor, everything, don't have silver, that's dull. So yeah, so question 16, uh, Dorothy's shoes were originally supposed to be silver. So question 17, what pop star owns a pair of Dorothy slippers? Now, D, Paul McCartney is there because Martin guessed Paul McCartney, <laughs> which I think is really weird. <laughs> but it's Lady Gaga um, owns a pair of the original slippers from the movie. But also people like Leonardo DiCaprio do. Like There's a, there's a ton of these slippers about. She had, she had a, lot of, a lot of spares, that girl. So yeah. Do you think they have meetups? 
the meetup it's like secret shoe meetups yeah. like <laughs> gags goes around DiCaprio's house for a cup of tea and they walk around in their red slippers <laughs> oh my god I, I need I need to know if that's true if you know Leonardo DiCaprio or Lady Gaga do let us know um so what pop star owns a pair of Dorothy slippers and it is Lady Gaga um although you know Elton John you know could have been him Anyway, uh, question 18. Who won an Oscar for costume design on Memoirs of a Geisha? And that was Colleen Atwood, one of the greats. Question 19. How many costume changes does Elizabeth Taylor have in Cleopatra? Now, I knew it was a lot, but holy crap, 65. She gets 65 costumes in that bad boy, um, which I might have to go and watch now. I just, it's so long. Anyway, so that's quite a lot. Uh, question 20, what body parts decorate Queen Elizabeth's dress in the famous rainbow portrait and its ears and eyes? Now, whoever taught me costume history, blooming loved that thing, that's burned under my soul. And then my bonus question, which was 21, question 21, what does the rainbow Elizabeth is holding in that portrait symbolize? And it's peace, which I thought was rather lovely. Um, so yeah, to end on, because rainbows, we're still using them today, of course. So yeah, that was the first cost costume sewing quiz thing. I hope you enjoyed it. Anything else? That's it. Now, see you here next, next Monday for more. But let me know in comments. Comment, email me, you know, things like that. Comment on my page, message me if you've got any cool questions or facts. If I spoke too fast, let me know. I speak incredibly fast a lot of the time. Um, if I pronounced anything wrong, don't let me know. It'll just embarrass me. Um, and yeah, this was fun guys. I hope you had a drink. I hope you joined in and um, I guess I will see you here next Monday. Oh, do stay tuned for some cool graphics that my husband did because he spent all day on them and they're really awesome. So yeah, see you next time, next week. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.